Well, I don't know if it's good or bad, but uh, we definitely want to do a few things. Right now, you're not getting enough gold to pay for the diesel, and that doesn't cut it. So we're going to try to save you money and get your efficiency up. OK. And I'm no solar expert, but you've got a lot of solar here. Yeah. That's yeah. not a problem out here. <laughs> so what if we put a solar panel system in, and the solar will be running your whole plant without any more gas, just the sun? Awesome. This is kind of a first for us. And to me, that's exciting because it's something that hasn't really been done. You might be in luck because I actually have some solar. You got some panels? Yeah, I've got solar at my house and I've, I've got a little extra. Oh, awesome. In a first ever bid to not just increase recovery, but also decrease costs, the guys will construct an innovative solar panel trailer to power Nick's dry plant. The goal? to make all of his gold nearly pure profit. Well, this is the shop. It's Very a mess, cool. so please pardon. Hey, you know, if it's, a, if it's a clean shop, there's no work getting done. The family went fully solar just over a year ago. Here's the workhorse, and that provides power all the time during the day. The sun's shining, we got all the power we need. So yeah, without this thing, we were running the generator. Oh, man. And are these new or are they used? They're used. They're, used, They're pretty huh? new, though. Well, that, this is half the battle, finding the panels, so. Yeah, awesome. That's great, you got them. Yeah. Well, let's get them loaded up, huh? There you go. All right. I don't know about you, Nick. I'm excited about this. I'm super excited. Can't wait. Go. There he is. See how little Freddy's doing. Yeah. All up. Oh, how was your trip, buddy? Good, buddy. We're back. Did you find what you needed? Yeah, we got the rest of the panels that we needed. They're in the back of the truck, so uh, I think we're ready to rock and roll. The used panels are a vital component of the mobile solar trailer, which could save the Ballards hundreds in fuel costs a month. But the 140-mile round trip to retrieve them has cost half a day. You know, we've got about five days worth of work and about three days to do it, so yep. we better get to it. Yep. Flying by the seat of our pants. Another day, as usual, in my neck of the woods anyway. This is my first adventure with anything over a solar panel about that big, right? You know, but that's how you learn. If you don't strive to learn new things, you never jump ahead. Freddie will repurpose an old trailer, adding a steel framework for solar panels. The panels will then run the plant, eliminating Nick's expensive fuel costs and boosting gold profits. The wind's a nightmare, but it is what it is, and we'll just fight through it. Ah, oh, The wind's blowing so hard, it's moving my steel sideways. Right now, our major concern is if it's blowing angle iron and steel around like it is, trying to put these solar panels in place in this wind may be impossible. This wind. Let's get out here and give Freddie a hand. The third fix still not done. It's all hands on deck to complete Freddie and Juan's first of its kind solar trailer. Nick, let's uh, bring a panel over. Hey, Danny, you want to hop up inside of there? You got it. We're going to pick you this end up in the wind. OK. Yeah, these uh, solar generators sure come in handy for you know not having to put as much fuel in the generator. So looking forward to that. Maybe I'll survive just yet. Each solar panel will deliver up to 400 watts of electricity into the 125 pound batteries. Ouch. Wind. Which will in turn power the plant. Look at that. Oh, that's fancy. It's part of our new green initiative. Hopefully it works, huh? Uh, I'm hoping so. <laughs> get it down to the plant and uh, get it running. Stop the wind, please. Coming. Go. Chalk the wheels there. Home sweet home. At the Ballard Mine in Arizona, trailer in place. It's the moment of truth. All right, watch out, guys. Trauma's going to start up. Yeah. I 
That's pretty sweet. So far, everything looks good. Batteries are holding up. Hopefully, it'll last the whole test. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. For our first attempt at solar, I'm pretty happy with it. I am too. Oh, four hour test. Here we go, huh? First bucket. <laughs> that is awesome. It's a back saver, huh? Oh, mate, you don't even know. Yeah, look at that. Instead of Danny and Nick hand turning the heavy barrel trommel, one solar powered giant sprocket and chain motor allows nearly four times the amount of pay dirt to run through the plant. Drive's running good, bunch Three. plates running good, and the solar trailer's running everything. Yeah, the solar system. This may be a game changer for out here in the desert. I think it's awesome. Ran that plant, you know, for the full test run, not an issue, and really it's low light. It's a right cloudy now. day. Yeah. First cloudy day we've had that's the day we ran. So that proves it right there that it's working. Yeah, it'll do it. We did good. Oh man. Yeah. Last bucket. Hopefully there's lots of gold in it. Shut her down, Nick! Well, let's get it on the scale. Let's do it. Good. Uh, yeah. You got it? Got it, bud. All right, bud. Short legs. <laughs> I was going to make a comment, but I didn't want to say nothing, Fred. Well, guys, moment of truth. Seven tenths of a gram. It's a roughly a fortieth an ounce. So we did what? Two tenths last time of a gram? And now it's right at seven tenths. Nick has nearly quadrupled his recovery, while the solar panel system has reduced his costs to almost zero, allowing him to earn thousands a season from his operation. That's a really good increase, guys. I really appreciate it. And if you had a wind turbine up here, you could run Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> well, if gold mining fails, I'll go into power generation. There you go. <laughs> yep.